at least we're doing damage to this freaking cyclone. I can send out a little bit of everything. Okay, he's getting pushed way back. Push back far enough that the guy in the seat is gonna kill everything. No. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Battle Cats. Now, a few episodes ago, you guys might remember that I took on an event called Technorosis, where it worked a little bit different than every other event we've done in this game. In the first stage, you had to face off against a metal cyclone with metal enemies, and if you beat it, you had one chance to move on to the next stage and beat an alien cyclone with alien enemies. And I never managed to do it because it was ridiculously difficult. But today, I'm going to get my redemption because we're going to try a stage called Bad to Worse, which works pretty much the same way, except instead of metal and alien, we have red and black, which should be a little bit easier. I hope. It is really difficult to pick a loadout for these kind of events because you can't bring too much anti-black or you'll never get to that stage. You won't get through the red units and you can't bring too much anti-red because the black units will just run you over. So for the first stage for red, I've brought Apple Cat and Black Cat. They're probably my best anti-red. And then for the second stage, we have Casajizzo and Cooldown Cat, who I'm not super confident in, but at the same time, I need some way to stop this cyclone. And it's the only thing I have that freezes or slows or anything like that. And then we have Shishlan, Passlan, and True Form Hummet because, as I've always said, they're anti-everything. And for me, shields. So we'll give that a try. And if it doesn't come anywhere close, then we'll figure something out, I guess. Now, because these stages are so insanely difficult, I decided to look them up on the Wikipedia just to get an idea for the timing of when we're going to be facing enemies. We are going to see a cyclone, we are going to see a bun bun, but first, they're going to send out a bunch of little men. And so long as I don't kill those little men, nothing else will come at me. So the only way that I can really delay here is by sending out my weakest cats and hoping that they don't bite down on those tiny little men. So far, oh, so good. Wait, oh, we killed one. Crap, crap. Okay, um, we're gonna send out Shishalan and some meat shields and Apple Cat. Apple, you got a lot of work to do here. I really don't want you hitting <laughs> the tiny men. There we go. Okay, so if you could just keep freezing and I could keep sending out apples, then I think we'll be all right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I chose Shishalan over True Form Bahamut because I'm pretty sure True Form Bahamut always gets whacked by Bun Buns. And, oh, crap, what? I didn't think they were gonna send out faces as well. Okay, faces aren't a big deal, right? Apple Cat is area of effect, so we can kind of slow everything. We could just keep meat shielding. I don't know if I should be saving up or upgrading. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Shishalan is also behind the base, which doesn't really help all that much. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, freeze him. Freeze him, they're hurting the base. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that was something that I was worried about. If you get stuck right up against your base, then when the cyclone comes, everything is pushed behind the base and you just lose instantly. So we're gonna try that again, except for this time I'm not gonna upgrade. I'm gonna save all of my money and hopefully be very sparing with my meat shields. I don't want them to get to my base, but at the same time I don't want to kill them. So it's really hard to find a balance. This way, I can send out Black Cat and she'll get pushed really far back. I should have waited on that. That would have been a smart move because now he's gonna punch my base. Or he's very close to punching my base. <laughs> no, no, I don't feel good about this. Ah, oh, crap, that was a mistake. I need to wait for the explosion and then send out my cat. So they're just gonna get pushed back to the point where it doesn't matter. Shishalan, if you could do just a little bit more damage, that would go a long way. Okay, but I didn't actually mean get hit. I, I just meant try harder, right? If you could just try a little bit harder, would really appreciate it because they're punching my base and the cyclone pops out and kills me. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I need to do. Normally, I'd say that Shishalan is one of my best cats for these stages, right? Because he does so much damage to bosses. If he gets hit once, then he dishes it back tenfold. But he's just never going to get hit in this case, because if he does, I've already lost. I really need to push them back and keep them away from my base by as much time as possible. So I'm going to try Holy Dragon Megadora, and then I've switched Black Cat to White Rabbit to slow. And hopefully that'll make any kind of difference. Oh no, that, okay, well, I guess we're not gonna have as much time as I had hoped for here. Uh, can I maybe delay just a little bit longer and get White Rabbit out? Alright, White Rabbit's out. 
That's not too, too bad. For some reason, he didn't move up quite as fast as the other time, so... Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. We got a freeze. We've slowed him. These are all good things. If I can get another apple out there. I, I didn't get enough from Megadora, which is the big issue here. Please stay away from my base. No, no, yes, apple. Oh, that perfectly timed apple stopped them from hitting my base when I got pushed back. I needed that so badly, but it doesn't matter because I'm still, I'm still freaking dead. I only have so much energy in this game and so much patience in real life to deal with this. So we're gonna bring Rich Cat, we're gonna bring Sniper Cat, and I think our loadout is still fine. We'll try this again. If I can't get it with these consumables, I don't know what I'm gonna do. No, no, Sniper Cat, don't. Do not kill those things. <laughs> that is the last thing that I need right now. Well, Rich Cat is certainly doing his job because we have so much more money. Oh, there goes the little man. Here comes Bun Bun. Okay, so we're gonna send out Megadora and Apple Cat and a whole bunch of meat shields to start them off because Megadora should slow and push back, right? If he actually hits him. I don't know if he's actually hitting him right now. This is all Apple Cat right now. <laughs> Megadora, please stop shooting the snakes. Nobody cares about the snakes. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That is gonna make such a huge difference. Look how far away from my base he is all of a sudden. If I can get White Rabbit out next, I think, because we're gonna wanna slow, ah, the face. I just realized that the Cyclone comes out whenever it wants, right? I'm not triggering it, I don't think. So there's probably gonna be a point where I'm gonna fight all three of them. Now would probably be a good time to turn my sniper back on now that I think about it. And here comes the cyclone, lovely. Okay, I would love to get true form Bahamut out there if we could kill a few things like that head. I feel like the head is our best target. Can I get more apples out there? Oh, there comes another head. Yep, just give me all the head. That isn't quite what I meant to say, but you guys know what I mean. Oh no, 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 no. They're getting really close. Really, really close. Don't let them touch my base. <laughs> we had it. We so had it. Oh, don't give me that 69% after I made a head joke. This was supposed to be my redemption. I was supposed to feel good about myself at the end of this video. <laughs> if I can't do this first stage, how am I gonna beat the Black Sage? It's all gonna come down to Casa Jizo, but I can't really think about that right now. Rich Cat, Sniper Cat. I don't have any energy because this costs so freaking much. Hold on, hold on. I got some energy in the bank waiting for me. Thank you. Ooh, a rare ticket. All right. And my energy has been refilled. All right, well, I think Uberfest is still going on. Cat gods, you've been just ramming me so hard lately. I, I feel like every episode I let people down. I let myself down. If I could just get something cool, just one time, just one, one time no Bishop Cat, one time no Hip Hop Cat. This is the perpetual nut beating that I expected it to be. I'm gonna try something a little bit different this time because I think I have a good handle on how long these little men last. Usually I'll have around 4,500 before one of them dies. I wanna kill all of them at once though. So if I send out one Casagizzo right now, Rather than having one die and then they all get in the way, I'll kill them all. And then that way, that should stop Bun Bun from having any meat shields, except for that stupid little snake. Yeah, that feels way better. Look how much further away he is now. Okay, I definitely like that. So now if we can kill a couple of things, oh yes, just sit down. Keep pushing him back. If we can get White Rabbit out there, I'd feel a whole lot better. We're gonna turn on Sniper again. I keep forgetting that. This Bun Bun is getting worked right now. I'm gonna fire the Cat Cannon at him. How do you like that? A little bit of Cat Cannon. And then hopefully keep up my apples. Apples are not surviving right now. Do I want True Form Bahamut or White Rabbit? I think I want White Rabbit. We got the White Rabbit out there. And then everything should be nice and slowed down. Why are you guys moving forward? No, no, not again, not again, not again. Apples, please. <laughs> They're not touching my face. Yes, yes, it feels so good. <laughs> Oh my god, this is such a roller coaster. True form Bahamut would make a big difference right about now. That cyclone is really not doing anything. 
Oh my god, this is wonderful! Look! He just gets pushed back and slowed repeatedly because White Rabbit and Megadora are just comboing off. All right, yeah, I, I think it's time. Get in there to reform Bahamut. Dragon Bros, all about it. Smack stuff. I think we might have done it. I don't want to jinx myself, but at the same time, the Bun Bun was way more of an issue than the Cyclone because he's just straight up not doing anything, right? I don't think he's killed a single one of my cats. I'm even stacking Casa Jizos just to be damage dealers. But as long as he's slow enough to not kill my apple cats, yes, then the apple cat doesn't die. Okay, so once you get the strategy down, that's not too difficult. The problem is gonna come with the next stage where I don't get rich cat, I don't get sniper cat, and I don't really get any way of reliably slowing them. Crap, why did the music just change? Did I not face off against the boss? All I see is a stupid dead rhino. Okay, either way, we're gonna take our victories where we can. We got two Megadoras out there knocking on the door. And I get my energy recovered right after I recovered all of my energy. Game stop, please, at every corner. Just the nut slapping. Okay, special stage, Doom Paradise unlocked. Take the challenge. Currently used items will not carry over to this stage. Why? Why won't they carry over? If you're gonna charge me for them, if you're gonna make them difficult to unlock, they should be worth a damn. All right, let's give it a try then. So I'm not really sure if cooldown cat is gonna accomplish anything and I also don't know if the timing is the same. They're only sending out little men. Oh no, they're sending out other stuff as well. Interesting. Um, okay, crap, lots of crap, all the crap. We're just gonna have to get Casa Gizzos all over the place right now. Cooldown cats and Casa Gizzos for days. I'm getting a little bit more money though, so I might actually be able to upgrade a little bit here. Yeah, we're definitely good. Black Bun Bun is a lot easier than the other ones because Casa Gizzo just does such a ridiculous amount of damage. So do I want to kill this thing is the question or do I want to save up and upgrade? I think I kind of want to save up and upgrade. So how about we just chill out here? We're not going to get too close to the base, right? Bun Bun's not doing anything. He's not hurting nobody. We're going to get to level eight and then probably start stacking Megadora, I suppose. Cooldown Cat is actually freezing him quite a bit. Oh, and killing him. Okay, um, wasn't really waiting for that. Um, crap, okay, go, 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 go. Just, just punch everything, punch the things. And Farzy Cat Cannon and Casa Gizzo, like I said, it's all gonna come down to Casa Gizzo because everything else is gonna die really quickly. Stop pushing through all of my units. This cyclone is way harder than the last one. Oh crap, no, push him, push him back, push him back. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, there's a dude with a chair. I didn't even see the dude with the chair. Oh, come on, that is so much harder than a couple of stupid heads. At least we're doing damage to this freaking cyclone. I can send out a little bit of everything. Okay, he's getting pushed way back. Push back far enough that the guy in the seat is gonna kill everything. No! <laughs> this isn't happening! Not like this. Not like this, Casagizzo. Come on. Send out send out everything that we have. Fire the cat cannon. Oh no, 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 no! Oh my god! <laughs> 41%! Mmm. I really feel like I could have beaten that if I just had a few more cats that I could send out. Like True Form Bahamut, he went out there, he died immediately, and then he was on cooldown for the rest of the battle. So that's useless. We're gonna replace him with Paris, and then I've also replaced one meat shield with Thaumaturge. Because I need to do something to weaken those black enemies, and I just don't have the anti-black to do it. Like, I have Twin Stars, and I have War God Yukimura, and stuff like that. I just don't think they're high enough level. Even though War God Yukimura... No, he's just gonna die immediately. That's the thing. They're all such close range that I need spammable cats. So as we expected, everything went fine in the red stage. There was really no issue locking him down with freezes and slows and stuff like that. I don't know if I should be using Megadora here because pushing back and slowing the cyclone is really good, but pushing him back to the guy in the chair where all of my units get blown up is not all that good. I just, I don't have time to experiment. Well, that guy's dead, so we gotta figure out what we're gonna do real quick. 
Uh, I think we need to send out Megadora. I think it needs to happen. We got a thick stack of Parises happening here, and they might get blown up. Please don't get blown up. They're pushing back. Okay, that was a whole lot of stuff getting blown up. But we're not getting blown out. That's what matters most, right? Because we have a whole lot of stuff to spam. Right? We have a whole lot of stuff to spam, guys. Don't, don't do this to me, guys. Fires a cat cannon. Okay, push him back, push him back. We have so much money. There's no way. Please, please don't. Please don't just kill him. He's so freaking close to touching my face. Oh, oh come on. Come on. Don't let the guy in the chair get too close, too. We can't forget about him. Megadora, where are you? Megadora, please help. This isn't okay. Yes, yes, please. No, don't kill everything he's gonna kill. Oh, he got frozen and knocked back. Oh, this is, this is, this has to be it, right? This has to be it. Ah, uh, he kills a lot of stuff, but the Cyclone's dead. That was the hard part. I think that was the hard part, because he's just kind of killing everything. And I don't really appreciate it. Can we get a few hits in on him, please? I fired Zikat Cannon. Yeah, lower his attack. I'm sure that'll do anything. Maybe Megadora will help. Yes! I can't believe I did it! Oh my god, man. These freaking Cyclones are so difficult. That feels really rewarding, though. This is what I love about Battle Cats. Like, I could be doing more Cats of the Cosmos and probably flying through it or other event stages that are, you know, lower difficulty, but this is fun. Trying to figure out the strategy and getting it just right and perfecting the timing and getting an epic cat fruit. We need to evolve something really cool. Bit of a problem with that plan. I kind of forgot in all of my excitement to true form evolve a cat. You usually need like half a million or a million experience, and there aren't really any cats that I want to evolve now anyway. So you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And I gotta say, I'm really happy. Like, I, I wanted to make this episode because stages come and go so rarely in this game. Like, it might only happen once a month. So I wanted to give it a try, and I wanted to make an entertaining video on it because I might not get another chance to do so, but I didn't really plan to succeed. So actually beating it is a pretty sweet bonus. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if there are any other crazy stages that come at very unique times during the month, be sure to let me know and maybe I'll check them out soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.